Hey guys, so today I will be making a video on how to organize your very own Smiggle pencil case. So here I have mine, and I have filled this area, this area, and this area. So this is what it looks like from the front. I did buy my own Smiggle pencil case just yesterday, and it was fifteen ninety nine. I picked a purple one. So I will be going through my items and I will be giving you some tips on um, how to fit everything inside, where to put your things and you know just the basic stuff. So on this side of my pencil case I have my textures. So there are two pockets, one pocket here and one pocket here. So I decided to put my textures here because I didn't want to fit it over here since it would fall out and it doesn't even fit here anyway. So I have two layers of textures. As you can see, the green texture, my my darker, my darker textures are on the back, and my brighter colors on the front. And I also have my protractor here. I got my textures from Big W for four dollars. I got my protractor, and it came with a set. It came with a geometry set. And I have my correction tape, whiteout, whatever you prefer to call it. This you can buy two for five dollars at Big W. I have this um, um, USB, it is from Shina Shintaro, that's the brand of the USB, and I got this for $5 at Big W. I have this yellow rubber that I like because it really rubs out really good. You get four for, um, you get four for $2, you get a yellow, you get a green, you get a blue, and you get a pink. I have this mini sharpener, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can't take it out now. I have this sharpener, and I can't remember what I, where I got it from. I have this rubber, and one of my friends gave me that. I have my glue stick here, and this glue stick is just under all of these items. And I decided to put this here because it was the only place where it could fit. And I didn't want to put it here because it was way too big, and it would roll out all the time, and the pencil case wouldn't even close. On this side of my pencil case, I have all my um, pens and gray lids. In this pocket, um, I have my Smiggle multiplication times table gray lid. I added, excuse me, I had I added a small rubber at the end, and this was one dollar seventy five, I think. I can't remember. And I have this normal tartan gray lid. And I think I got that in BW, but I cannot remember what I got it with or how much it was. I have these two amazing pilot pens. They work. I use for school for writing, and this red pen I use for correcting at school. This is not a correct um, a correction pen, a whiteout, nothing like that. I use it for ticks. You know when you cor correct your grammar and stuff. And um, they have like a gel, um, a gel ink. That that's what I love about it. And I, in this pocket, I have my smi my pink Smiggle erasable pen. This one was two dollars fifty. I remember in Smiggle, it can rub out, and at the very end of it, there is a um, soft rubbery thing that you rub out the ink with. Um, over here, I have this Avini. Um, Pazer. I use this a lot at school. Um, the lead is 7.5 or 7.1, I can't remember. Um, I have this blue smiggle pen that I use more often too. It's um, It's got like this little maze running through it and it's got like a small, like, I don't know, silver ball in it. And you have to shake it around in order to get the ball all the way up here. So it's like a maze and I enjoy playing it and stuff. So I fit this into this pocket, and I have, whoops, I have another grey lid over here, and I cannot remember where I got that from. I have this smiggle ruler that goes from 0 centimeters to 15 centimeters. I got this from Smiggle, and it is blue. Um, it's like, it's not exactly glass, but when you hit it, or if you drop it against a table, it will make this like, um this very loud glass-like noise, I guess you can say it. 
Um, I decided to fit this in here because it fit perfectly, and I did not want to put my ruler over here because it um it wouldn't fit, and I didn't want to put it here because it would slip out. So I found this perfect spot, and it fit perfectly. Over here, I have this um, six color pen that I also got from Smiggle, and it is purple, so it goes with my um, pencil case. I decided to fit this into this um, pocket because this was the biggest and this was the biggest pen that I had. And this is one of my Typo gel pens. It looks like a grey lid or like a coloured pencil but it's actually not. This is actually the lid and you have to take it off and the gel pen is inside. So here is where all my pens and grey lids and I can guess where my ruler is. This is where my text is and rubbers, white out glue stick leaves, I mean stays. And over <laughs> here... This is where I keep my flat things. So you can see that this is my um, highlighter and this is where I keep it because it is flat. I keep my compass here. I keep my rubber here. I have my um, typo pens. I got these five for five dollars. If you do know the shop typo, um, you should really, really get these because they really work very well and they're very good for tracing, decorating, drawing, you name it. I have my um, my black notepad notebook. Um, I use this to write to my friends in class, like you know the teachers don't realize. Um, I write notes, just anything plain basic. I just keep this here because it's very thin and it fits perfectly next to my gel pens. I have um, my scissors. Um, this is this brand is Office Max. If you can see that, and it is stainless steel, I got this from Big W. So, here is my complete, finished, um, and filled pencil case. Um, this is how I organized my pencil case. You can organize yours in any way that you like, but this was the most efficient way to organize my pencil case for me. Um, the glue stick isn't really supposed to be lying here because you'll have to go through a hustle to take it out. You'll have to get your USB out, white out or correction tape, rubber, um, sharpener and another rubber which you know is hard and frustrating to, to like go through but I put it here because the textures fit perfectly on top of it and it fits perfectly in this pocket. So there you have my pencil case that I just bought yesterday filled and not broken. As you can see it is thick, very very thick now. Nothing falls out but sometimes um, stuff like this, like especially your scissors and you know your highlighter They'll fall out just in general occasions, but you can always put it back in. Um, so, yeah, this is the way I wanted to, um, you know, organise my pencil case. And, yeah, it did take me a fair well of time. But, yeah. So, I hope you liked this video and, yeah subscribe and like. Bye!